On Thursday, January 13, 2022, at approximately 2 p.m., a suspect unsuccessfully attempted to steal a vehicle containing three children at the 200 block of East Buffalo Street. The suspect left the vehicle and began to leave the scene. The adult female driver of the vehicle located a cell phone around her vehicle and entered a nearby business. When inside the business, the suspect that attempted to steal the vehicle approached the female and attempted to rob her. An off-duty Milwaukee Police Department detective intervened, announced that he was an officer and attempted to detain the suspect. A struggle ensued at which time the suspect brandished a firearm. The suspect fired multiple shots at the off-duty detective, striking him multiple times and fled the scene. The detective returned gunfire, and at this time, there's no indication the officer gunfire struck anyone. The suspect fled in a vehicle that later observed by uniformed officers on the 2700 block of West State Street. Officers attempted to stop the vehicle. However, the driver refused to stop and a vehicle pursuit ensued. The vehicle pursuit ended on a 38 3000 block of North 30th Street, uh, excuse me, but 3000 block of North 30th Street. Multiple suspects fled on foot. An 18 year old male and a 17 year old male were apprehended without further incident. The detective involved is a 37 year old male with seven years of service with the Milwaukee Police Department. He sustained life threatening injuries. He was transported to a local hospital and is in stable condition. The Milwaukee Police Department Homicide Division is leading an investigation. Criminal charges will be referred to the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office in the upcoming days. This is a fluid investigation. The Milwaukee Police Department thoughts and prayers go out to our detective that continue to protect his community even while off duty. We wish him speedy recovery and are very proud of all the men and women of the Milwaukee Police Department that show great professionalism tonight. The detective and his family are requesting that everyone respects his privacy. And at this time, I'll hand the mic over to the mayor, Cavalier. Thank you very much, Chief. <clears throat> Just yesterday, uh, the chief and I were together to talk about public safety priorities in Milwaukee. And one of the tenements of those priorities was to make sure that individuals who should not have their hands on guns in the first place, uh, that they don't have that access. And obviously today, that happened again, where there was an individual who had access to guns, and you see the results. And that wasn't just today. It wasn't just today. Since 2022 began, we've had a nine-year-old, a kid, a child who was shot. We had a 16-year-old at work who was shot and who was killed. And now even a police officer off duty, still protecting and serving the people in this city who has been shot and is now in a hospital bed. Enough, enough. Folks in this city have had enough with the violence, particularly the deadly gun violence that we see plaguing this community year in and year out. And that's why we're gonna be working with our partners at the state to try to make sure that these incidents don't happen because they're literally affecting everybody in our community from our babies to our police. And so I want to echo the comments made by Chief Norman, right? This police officer was not on duty. This police officer, this was his day off and still, still he sprung into action to protect and to serve. And so on behalf of the residents of this city, I thank this police officer. I thank him for springing into action to protect and serve somebody who needed assistance in our city. And with that, I'll pass it back over to the chief. Any questions at this time? Chief, can you tell us again from the top that there was a vehicle, was it stolen or not stolen? The vehicle that was found on the north side, was that the vehicle that the suspect arrived in? Still a fluid investigation. I know that uh, there was another vehicle involved, but uh, at this time we're still trying to learn more of the details on that. So the woman who hid in the bathroom, were the, her kids in the car? 
Well, there was her kids there. I know that she was part of a delivery service, in my understanding. But yes, she were her kids were in the car at the time when the uh, car was attempted to be stolen. And the kids are okay. Yes, they are. What can you tell us of the suspects? Right now, it's still a fluent investigation. You know, I know that we have uh, a number of individuals involved that uh, we have in custody. We will be figuring out in regards to their role and what happened. Um, again, this is still a fluent investigation. Are they from Milwaukee? Don't know that at this time. Chief, have you had a chance to speak with the detective? How is he doing? Have you talked to his family? No, but after this, and I'm going to try to cut this short because I need to go out there and talk to the family of the detective. Again, I want to remind everyone, this was an off-duty detective probably just ordering food. And I saw others who stood by as this particular citizen was being accosted at the time. He went into danger without any hesitation. Absolutely proud of the men and women of the Milwaukee Police Department. Proud that we are able to be professional on and off duty. Well, beyond even this particular situation is, again, all of us doing our part to try to deter in regards to criminal behaviors. Also understand that firearms are dangerous. We don't need to have firearms in the hands of any individual who is out there to do harm. It is a, again, a group effort. All citizens have a responsibility to ensure that we don't have situations like this. Can you take one more. Large? Can you say what unit the, the detective is assigned to? I believe he's just an early shift detective right now, to my understanding. I don't know the actual uh, unit. But I have to go out to uh, Freighter. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. That's the update from police right now. So to get you up to speed, we were told that around 2 o'clock this afternoon, a suspect tried to steal a vehicle near Water and Buffalo in Milwaukee's third ward. Three children were in that vehicle. The kids are okay. According to police, the suspect left the vehicle and then tried to leave the scene. There was, there was another incident that happened, it sounds like, and the off-duty police detective, an off-duty police detective, tried to intervene. The suspect, according to police, fired multiple shots. The officer was hit multiple times. The officer returned fire, according to police. There's no indication that anyone was hit. That officer has been taken to Freighter Hospital. As for the suspect in this case, police say that two people were taken into custody, a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old. Uh, according to police, officers tried to stop the vehicle at one point. There was a pursuit that ended at this location that we're looking at right now. This is in the area near 29th and Chambers. That's where two people were taken into custody, and that's where Matt Salemi uh, will join us in just a moment. And, and sources, as we mentioned, Tell 12 News, those two arrests, the car involved, as you heard Patrick mention, was recovered. We just saw a video of that. We have video, however, within the hour from News Chopper 12 at 29th and Chambers. We're going to get to that in just a moment, but we're going to go up to Matt Salemi in News Chopper 12 tonight. Yeah, this is the area where it happened, and they've really vacated this area pretty quickly. The uh, evidence technicians are still working in the alleyway here. You can kind of make out the van there in the center of the frame. Uh, every other squad has left the scene that I can tell. Uh, they towed the vehicle away, and uh, the two suspects were in separate squad cars. They have also been taken away from the scene as well, so things are clearing up here at 29th and Chamber, where two suspects and the suspect vehicle were taken into custody. Matt Salemi reporting live for us uh, in News Chopper 12 and 12 News. Courtney Sisk is live on the ground there near 29th and Chambers. Courtney. Right, we're here on the ground. They just cleared the scene, but earlier what we saw was dozens of investigators and officers searching through this area over here on 29th and Chambers. They also had the police canines out. I believe we have video of that. What they were doing is they were going through yards. It appeared that they were looking for something or someone, but at this point we do know that there were two people taken into custody, a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old. Earlier we did have the two squad cars right behind us before they took off, and those that did have people in the back seats. It appeared that they were taking them out of the squad to take images of them. Right now, the scene is cleared. We really only see about one squad that's still out here. It appears that there still could be some investigators who are talking to uh, perhaps some witnesses inside of their homes at this time right now. Uh, we saw dozens of people investigating out here, though, and then we did see that there were, it appeared, the two suspects in squads that were right here on 29th and Chambers. They left probably about 10 minutes ago now, so 
So we'll continue to see if we could talk to any of the witnesses here to see if they saw the arrest and what happened and what those canines were looking for. Courtney Sisk, thank you. Caroline Reinwald is live in Milwaukee's third ward right now. Caroline, you spoke to a woman whose friend happened to help one of the victims in this case. I did, and I actually just got off the phone with that friend as well minutes before this uh, 5 o'clock started. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you what she told me. I'll step out of the way first, though, so you can see what we're looking at here with police on scene. Uh, still closing off the area near Broadway and 3rd. Now, um, what you're about to hear is some is a friend of a friend who, who was inside of the Shake Shack at the time of this happening. Uh, this witness um, told me on the phone that... Um, Someone came inside to get some food. That person then noticed that her car was about to get stolen. As you just heard from police, there were kids in the back seat of that car. She ran out to check and see what was going on. Somehow got a hold of the attempted carjacker's phone, ran back into the Shake Shack with the phone. Carjacker followed her into the Shake Shack. There was a scuffle and um, that's when uh, the witness inside the Shake Shack you know, was with this woman, pulled her into a bathroom, and they heard a gunshot go off. Um, and, and that's when the police officer was shot, off-duty police officer was shot in the stomach. Um, and, and listen to what this uh, witness's friend had to say to me uh, just a little bit ago. My friend was in the store and was picking up a takeout order because she works down here as well. And she saw that there was something going on with a woman outside in a car and um, I think the woman came inside the woman that her car was being I think stolen she came inside and my friend helped her to get into the bathroom and then called 911 it's very troublesome um, I work a couple blocks away I walk to work every day when I can if the weather's okay I love it down here I love living here walking here back and forth and it's just very scary to see this is going on in my city and so that woman's friend who was inside the Shake Shack called 911. She told me over the phone that this guy had a ski mask on when this was all going down. Still waiting to hear more about what exactly happened inside that Shake Shack uh, before first responders arrived. Toya Patrick. Caroline. Right, Caroline. Yep, thank you. Derek Rose now continues our live team coverage. He's at Freighter Hospital. Derek. Yeah, Patrick, uh, we heard uh, the news conference there, a brief news conference from uh, the chief and the interim mayor, uh, and you heard the chief saying he was trying to cut that as short as possible so that he could get out here to Freighter to uh, sit with this detective, uh, this detective's family, as well as the uh, other members of the command staff who are here at Freighter. Again, we talk about this being a level one trauma center. This is where uh, gunshot victims uh, go when, when they suffer injuries. And one thing, a couple of things that stuck out to me from that news conference there was uh, hearing the chief saying that they wish this detective a speedy recovery, giving, we hope, some indication, as we heard from sources earlier, that the outlook for this particular detective is positive. The mood is positive. Uh, our last check, this detective uh, was in surgery. The other thing that stuck out to me was the uh, blunt message from uh, the interim mayor, Cavalier Johnson, saying enough is enough with, with these gun crimes affecting our babies all the way up to our uh, police officers, and you would imagine that the trauma teams here at Freighter Hospital uh, are also fed up with the amount of gun violence and gunshot victims they are seeing. Uh, but again, uh, the hopeful uh, mood from the chief saying that they are wishing uh, this detective a speedy recovery. Back to you. All right, Derek Rose, thank you. And to recap, an off-duty police officer shot in Milwaukee's third ward. It happened around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Police say the officer intervened in an incident in the third ward, and that's when the shooting happened. The off-duty officer was taken to Freighter Hospital. We learned just a short time ago from police that two people have been taken into custody.